Hey friends, I want to make a couple more videos or at least one more while this Holy Ghost high is on me. As I told you in another video, I went to this Chinese restaurant and the, I just got flooded with the presence of God like I was on something. And you know, it's that Holy Ghost high. It feels so good. I haven't felt it in a long time. I've been so oppressed and burdened down, but Jesus is saying, do these things I'm showing you and you're going to be walking in total freedom. You're going to be bringing freedom. We're going to be doing this acts of random kindness fast for 40 days before the eclipse that everybody is saying. Judgment, which I'm not saying it's not going to be judgment, but read the book of Jonah. Jonah had was mad at God, mad at God because God wanted to forgive the people. And he that's he said, I knew you was going to forgive them because they they fasted. They listened to his message. He barely told them anything. He said, destruction is coming in 40 days. But it hit them, and they that's all it took. They fasted they, in sackcloth and ash. The king decreed him, and the animals were covered in sackcloth, not even a, a drip of drink for them. <laughs> Woo, Shabbat. <laughs> I feel so good. But he was angry at God. He said, I knew. Read Jonah and, and look at God's heart, his heart, heart of love. He said, these people don't even know the right hand from the left, Jonah. They're they're clueless. I want to forgive them. They just need to repent. I have mercy. He has mercy. So as people see what's coming, the fear of men's hearts, fear for what's coming, he wants us to be the voice. Be ready to have a heart of love and mercy to lead them to the Lord. And that's our part, not to be angry like the prodigal son's brother, like Jonah. He's getting our heart ready first. Judgment starts in the house of the Lord. And this judgment is not where we're going to fast and pray in a in a haughty way and get more religious and righteous. Your righteousness is his filthy rags, he says. But my fast I want for you is the Isaiah 58 fast. Read that. And he goes on. It's like Jesus talks about too, but in Isaiah he says this this fast that uh you think you think you fast you think you're hoity toity perfect ready to go like you've done all this fasting and everything but you're still corrupt you're full of dead men's bones and the real fast I want for you is to bring freedom to the oppressed I want you to clothe the uh, clothe the naked feed the hungry shelter the homeless that kind of thing and Jesus talks about that kind of thing he said when you do these kind of things actual acts of love, then your freedom is going to come. And that's what I started to experience tonight. I've been in bondage and oppression, but this, I felt this freedom that we're all going to feel as we do this fast. And it just feels like I've fasted for 40 days. I've fasted before a little bit, and you start to feel this heaviness leave you when you're doing it in the right for the right reasons anyway. The food fast, that's important too. Some of you might do a food fast. I'm not telling you not to uh, fast or silly tv shows that are programmed in your mind but the main fast is acts of random kindness that's what jesus wants us to focus on as the holy spirit we're going to get with the holy spirit every day he's going to say lead us to the certain people to to show acts of random kindness to and we're going to do it some of you might be doing big things like going out to the where the migrants are coming in and, and giving them water giving them food tell them how much jesus loves them i don't know Holy Spirit's going to lead and guide you. It might be something simple, just if you're in in a hospital, the, the nurses around you, whatever, wherever you're at, whatever your situation is going to be tailored towards you, and we're going to do that. And our light is going to break forth. It also says there, your light will break forth. The people in darkness have seen a great light. It's not going to be your religious hoity-toity snootyism. It's going to be Jesus shining in you, his love, Ooh, his heart for the lost, his heart for that one lost sheep. So that's what we're doing. And as I was in this Chinese restaurant, like I said, I just was looking around at people and seeing them like Jesus sees them. And he was telling me, um, you know, he gave me the name of one of them as they were walking out. It was too late for me to say anything, but he says, that's his name. And, and as you as you tune into me like this into my heart, I'll give you their name. I'll give you information because you have the right heart. It's going to be to show them how much I love them accurate prophetic words is going to come like that as you do these act as you as your heart changes as your oh he dwells with those of a humble heart contrite humble heart uh what she's saying over and over for us to get humble we're fighting a spirit of pride in this last day the spirit of the age is pride it's all around us in the religious and in the world and we got to let go of that as the veil is lifted from our eyes, um, 
we see like Jesus sees, we're going to love like Jesus loves. I'm going to tell you more in other videos. I want to keep this one short because the other ones were going way too long. But I love you guys. I'm excited about this. I'll be announcing. I don't know if we're starting Sunday. That's a little soon. But I'll tell you when we're going to start this is you stay tuned in. Quota shut the Lord, fill them and flood them. Release them. Release them from oppression. Let them feel your presence, Lord. Every demon, every chain must go and break away. Oh, I can't even think of anything else, Lord. Is there anything else? I want to turn this off. <laughs> okay. Tiavi, Tiavi TV, Jesus loves you.